Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers, Diamond Avatars. Fully ready to rise as the phoenix from the ashes, okay? Now, this is where we fully transcend all victim-victimizer consciousness, distorted polarity, the dream within the dream, fully being realized for what it is, us fully remembering the real truth and nothing but. As you fully merge with true cosmic consciousness, God source consciousness, becoming at one with real true reality. Consciousness is what creates reality. This is what we're remembering now fully. Usuna. Kena shukuratena karata karata. So this is really where you remember everything is imagined. It's spirit emanating mat matter, what we think is matter, the universe is not real. It's literally our deepest self beliefs, expectations, our unconscious made conscious or rather projected out. As in so far, it has been the unacknowledged shadow body, body running the show uncontrollably <laughs> based on our, our wounds and traumas amplified through mind control programming and i do recommend if i haven't if you haven't yet to look back at my last two videos um to tie all of this together more or less as well as i can highly recommend tuning into any of my previous videos that truly are timeless hold a lot of the keys and codes all of the navigational tips and instruction sets for the cosmic christ blueprint truly it's all there and it's like picking a tarot card <laughs> or reading. It's like wherever you, uh, whichever video you choose, uh, transmission, you don't have to watch the whole video. Just tuning into, you know, you will get the message that you're supposed to get. And that truly are timeless. The fire agrees. So <clears throat> this is where we fully claim us rising as the victim to being the hero of our own storylines. Okay, of ultimately dissolving all of this because you have to let fully go of all and everything that has been and that will be, so to say, past, present, future, fully surrender to source to be, <clears throat> to be given more than you could ever have dreamed of. So what we're accessing right now is literally like, this is before our heart mind breaks fully wide open. Enukunata karate. So this is where all, where we move from darkness to light. And I'm um, doing in honor also of St. Bridget's Day on the 1st of February. A um, It's basically going to be a mix of my membership, Senate Masterclass group call. <clears throat> Final floor clearance completing. Ah. Basically on the 31st, leading into the 1st, depending on where you're at, you know, for Australia, it will already be the 1st. So St. Bridget's Day in, in, Bol, in Bolg. Oh my God, I need to look it up. Anyway, where St. Bridget's, Bridget, <laughs> really it's us celebrating or embodying, becoming at one with the high priestess archetype, the triple solar feminine, um, I'm going to talk about this in a moment, um, a little bit more, and especially in that group call. So it will be free for everyone in my group container, so tier one, two, and three. Um, so you don't have to pay extra. It will be a general group call and activation, light language assisted, as usual, where we really fully merge matter and spirit, where spirit, our eternal cosmic spirit body, the dark matter body, the Russia body fully heals the collective pain and shadow body completely. The masculine and feminine complete in their hierogamic reunion. And that which has been unseen, hidden in the shadows, becomes fully seen. This is where we shed light onto the shadows, the unconscious, and make it conscious. This is how we free and heal all because it's pure gold. Your pain and shadow body, all of your difficult experiences, 
if you use them as a tool for growth, expansion, reclaiming all of your power, wisdom, gnosis, the true divine love, your true divine essence, original innocence that you are at your core, it's as if none of this has ever happened. And we fully return and quantum merge with our always and already fully ascended diamond avatar self, the eternal God self. You're merging ultimately with the eternal consciousness that God is, the zero point field, and seeing everything from within the polarities, both sides, as well as you see it from within how God would see it in total neutrality, but you still know what's right and wrong, so to say. But it really comes in multidimensional rainbow colors. The same as I, everything I speak about, it's not just this or that, it's both and that, and then this and this and this and that. But it's like one truth and it involves, includes a lot of perspectives, but there's just one real truth that unifies all, reconciles all. This is like the reconciliation of the one consciousness. The total number of minds in the universe is one. <clears throat> Who said that again? Quantum physicist. Uh, Schrodinger. With the dead cat in the box. So, or is it? You decide, okay? So imagine, imagination is everything. This is literally what creates our realities. But so far, it's been dictated by the collective unconscious. And as we, again, shed light, consciousness onto the unconscious, that's what the divine feminine does, brings it all into coherence, the heart-mind. Everything becomes light. Because all the darkness you can perceive is ultimately light spectrum that you can't see yet. Because you're not perceiving reality quite for what it really is. As crystalline clarity fully returns right now, right here, timelessly, we are back in paradise. The one cosmic family, all tribes fully reunited, all bloodlines, races, within the oneness, the holy trinity, the holy grail, fully returning, eternal life, true freedom, wisdom, knowingness. This is where knowing returns as you fully merge with your true divine feminine essence and allow it to rebirth you. So we're going to do a masterclass called From Darkness to Light on the 31st for most of the world and then in Australia and so forth on the 1st. Details are below, so the usual time to celebrate Usher in the true divine high priestess archetype returning within us all. It's, it's basically us fully surrendering to the heart, to true divine wisdom, the divine feminine within us all leading, rebirthing the cosmic Christ child timelessly. So the details are below. I have prices at uh, 2222. Uh, I make this available again for tier one, two and three of my membership container. You can also join that if you want to, to look back on all the other replays from the last few months and really tune into these keys and codes and true divine wisdom that literally has taken everything I had to, you know, that was dear to me, I had to sacrifice, so to say, in order to return this wisdom, to access this. And it ultimately comes from fully embracing your pain, your suffering, you know, especially those old souls that have been living many lifetimes, have a huge divine blueprint, DNA strands, it also means you carry a lot of anguish, heartache, grief, shame, guilt, all of these things, because you've been part of many timelines where we've all made mistakes. This is all about ascension. It's all about a path of redemption and forgiveness, which is both really and the same. As you forgive yourself truly, fully for everything, you also forgive everyone else. So any guilt, shame, for unforgiveness, feelings of resentment, anger, it's all just mirrored. And especially the twin flames mirror all of these energies towards one another. Because it's like they bring the best and the worst out within one another in order to fully collapse the polarities within the oneness, within true divine law that sees the big picture, that remembers the divine plan, that we have fallen as one, for us to rise as one in order to merge all worlds as one, all tribes, all bloodlines, all races fully rebirthed through the cosmic Christ, through the oneness, fully remembering itself, the totality of singularity fully returned. As you fully surrender to source, to your heart, again and again and again, 
and as you you keep following your heart's guidance, stop allowing your mind to override it. The mind catches up. As you fully surrender and open up your heart to source and full trust, so sacrificing everything and anything, every person, place, and thing, as you fully surrender everything, you will be given more than you ever could imagine. Because it's all an illusion. It's all just projected out by our own one cosmic consciousness mind, the one mind, the one cosmic monad. And as you fully remember this, and this is done, with the last activation call, and thank you so much for everyone who was part of this, 0550. As the oneness returns to the totality of singularity, fully remembering the big picture, and it's in the ethers, even those who have not taken part or you know, don't want to look back and uh, purchase the replay. Ultimately, as you fully surrender it all, your heart, keep going there and keep following your heart's guidance, no matter how crazy it is, especially then, breaking through all the existing programming, fears, doubts, various insecurities, you're free. Because all the blocks or all the, the feelings of being stuck, it's really made up by your own mind. As it's the oneness. It's beyond you. That's the whole thing. The suffering is caused by your imagined identity, the fictional character basically being. It's not you. It's not your real true self that you're afraid of letting go of. The same with the false realities, anything you are attached to. So full attachment is the real true freedom. As you remember, none of this is real. We've cut all cords, hooks, bindings, any chains. Fully, completely. And thank you so much for everyone who was part of this group call, the last two activations to really fully complete all of this. So again, I promised, especially my uh, group container, those who've been consistently supporting me in many ways, um, shapes and forms, to keep going until we're all around the campfire, so to say, because we are ascending as one, because we're falling as one, okay? So the last step is taken together. There's no one above the other. No one further ahead than the other. We're completing this all as one. Like when I speak to the Godhead, it's really me speaking to the, the point of the highest truth within the super consciousness field. It's li literally me listening to all the voices across the cosmos. But it's the point of the highest truth that all of us agree upon. And all affects all. So this is about this is above, beyond what I'm speaking, what I'm perceiving, because most people just have lost that access to the super consciousness field and to that truth that it's residing within our own heart. Because your heart has quantum access, it knows things that your mind will be able to catch up with later, which is now full heart mind coherence, which I know I bring online. I make sense of all of this crazy insanity. And I know I'm returning sanctity and true heart mind coherence through weaving it all together <laughs> and bringing the true gnosis, the true cosmic history records online again together with you because I can't do this on my own. And there's only one of us here, okay? The same as the masculine feminine, the two suns shining as one again. It's one. It's the same as the cosmic mother or the Mary is the mother of God. She births our life as well as she's at one with God. She's at one with the masculine. This is the new androgynous blueprint, the crystal Sophia, that we are here rebirthing all as one timelessly because this is not about time, it's not about cycles, as well as all of these cycles are leading us right back to the start, the inception point, which is you as pure God source consciousness embodied, which you always are. It's just that you have forgotten because it's just like, from this point of perception so far, you've only had access to a little bit or rather you expand, contract, expand, contract to bring all of these pieces back together. It's the same as many people like me being in my, you know, soft, divine, feminine, I don't know, Mary Magdalene type essence. And yes, this is a lot of what the divine feminine is about, but she's also the Kali Ma. She's also the dark feminine. And in honor of this, for once, I'm carrying black uh, with sparkles also in relation to the dark matter body the, the shadow and pain body 
fully being transmuted as the eternal cosmic spirit body is fully healing the mental, emotional, etheric, spiritual, um, physical bodies. Because who controls the mind, controls the emotional body, controls the etheric, controls the physical body. It informs what we're manifesting, believing to be true. Again, our perception of reality, look back on my last two videos, is what creates our reality. And I mean, I've been speaking this for a while. So every thought, word, feeling, action we take, us being in full integrity with this, what we truly believe in is what brings all of this online. So as all of the mind control has been fully cleared now, and again, this is beyond some CIA project, this goes beyond time and space. It really started with us listening to other people where we knew the truth in our heart from the beginning on, but we've overwritten it because we think somebody else knows better because they put doubts in our minds. But like we, first of all, again, it was the masculine and feminine splitting, the heart and the mind principles, higher, lower self, right and left brain. It's all interconnected, pineal pituitary gland. I mean, it all happened for us to fully be able to be in our own sovereign God self embodiment, as well as part of the oneness and really merge spirit and matter to purify the matter form, as well as you're not supposed to just drift off into the, um, you know, etheric and become fully formless in a sense of bodiless because your body, your physical body is carrying your ancient technologies, the same as the planetary body is us all put together. The cosmic Christ shield morphogenetic field, auric field of the earth is what we all make up as one. The core of the cosmic monad is what carries the original divine blueprint source codes. Those creator beings would have created and imagined all of this. And again, we're all part of it. This is the whole thing. We, through the mixing of DNA, bloodlines, races, even though it was forced and it brought a lot of suffering and pain, is what we needed ultimately as the one consciousness to merge all of our multidimensional selves, expressions, the dark and the light, heaven and earth, masculine, feminine, all races, everything, all as one, all worlds, realms, universes, timelines. And all fallen timelines have been fully collapsed. It's done. This has already happened. It's done. All you need to do right now is just know as all of this fully clears, all of these inversions, reversals within the one consciousness, all of the lower codings, this comes up and out to be felt, to be cleared, let go of fully now. All of the storylines, all of your imagined identity, which is not really you, it's a fictional character. It's a set of algorithms. Like, remember who you were as a child? This is like the closest you will get before all of your environment told you what to do, not to do, what to be, not to be, all of the other programming that came in. And especially the spiritual identity is even worse as the ego self, so to say, that the normal 3D, what we would call uh, program self because it's literally not real it's just based on false inverted belief systems thought forms and it's not who you are so now we're fully remembering this no it's already done all you need to do is just energetically release this like i could feel again more frustration, anger, resentment coming up, which I thought was really like already cleared. And I know ultimately this is already cleared mentally, but now comes the spiritual body and etheric to fully clear this from the heart space, the emotional body, for the physical to fully catch up, because this is where we fully merge spirit and matter. So this is what the activation will be mainly about for us to literally fully now manifest out of thin air as all of these principles Polarities fully merge as one within a zero point field of true divine love, neutrality, and love, neutrality. Oh my God, it's gone. Wisdom, that's not it. Oneness. But you see, within that oneness, and yes, there's only one of us here, but I don't really like saying there are no others. Because it's like all the others are aspects of you. But what are these aspects reflecting back? And so far, it's been inverted mirrors. 
So people have projected the unacknowledged shadow aspects at us when we are holding a, holding a very high frequency and you know being in our true self. We have taken all of the shit on. We now we stop doing this, and it gets returned to sender. And this is then the same for the black magic spells. And this also has massively influenced all the fuckery with our abundance, success, relationships, all of this to come in. Because mind control is just a part of this. And it goes beyond some mind control we see out there and CIA projects. It's like, again, it starts with the people around us influencing us, us allowing them to override our inner heart's deepest knowing, our quantum intelligence. Because you have access to all through your heart in a knowing and it doesn't make sense to your mind in that moment but but as the quantum mind fully takes over as you keep surrendering it to the heart all will make sense and the heart mind come into full coherence the masculine feminine this is fully realigning the axial tilt which is already in full motion this is the full pole shift magnetic field shift fully completing as the divine feminine within us all is leading now you you need to rebirth for your divine feminine men and women alike you fully merging with your hearts and unknowing, allowing it to keep guiding you, no matter how crazy it is. It allows you to break through all imaginary fears, boundaries, obstacles, anywhere where you feel stuck, literally, because you then remember, oh my God, this is all imagined, literally. So this is where all remaining fears, doubts, worries, insecurities, what ultimately the collective shadow body is made of, all these traumas and wounds, the heart and nervous system fully healing, as you fully allow your heart to take over. All of us. You know, we all had our hearts broken. Like I've been healing a lot of the whole heartbreak and you feel like you can't open your heart. But ultimately, as you adjust your perception, and again, you need to also just clear out, just, just burn off that energy, these memories at cellular level, like even if you really get it, you need to keep burning it off. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, how many cycles until you're done. And this is why we're doing so much repetition here, because it's about frequency, not about time. And you need to also let go of all these cycles. I know many people love astrology, but it keeps you stuck in cycles. And it's like this year, next month, this quarter, next quarter, I don't know, all of the stuff. Okay. Like, do you want to break out of these cycles or you want to keep looping? where the this is imagined the stars it is not even in divine right christic order i mean almost there as the cosmic water and star codes fully realigned the masculine and feminine with true divine love okay knowing so this is where we burn the motherfucking matrix all the way to the ground because we remember this is not real but yeah, you need to fully forgive yourself, resolve all of this, all resentment, guilt, shame, anger, all from all sides. It's all about the oneness because it's all your inner wars where you're not in congruence with real truth that is projected out that creates any kind of discord in your field. And right now it's all about being like letting go of any attachments, any of that... Um, you know, these old relationship templates, blueprints that have held us connected to uh, and in bondage in a way with karmic cycles. Okay, so this is where we're breaking fully out. I'm being guided to bring one card up that I drew. And it's like, every cycle is a higher opportunity. I, I got like literally three cards with cycles in it. <laughs> <laughs> which is also about the Holy Trinity, the St. Bridget's Day, the three within the one, the Triketa, very much embodied within the oneness, the totality of the singularity that returns. Anyway, that's the number 13. And it says, each and every turn in the cycle of life is a new way of coming back to your truest essence. The one you've always held sacred. This is your cosmic blueprint being expressed more fully and wisely with each turn of the spin spiral. You keep coming back to the same things you've always loved, but with new insights and experience. There are cycles within cycles within cycles in all of nature. If you bring awareness to your life, you will find patterns, patterns of when to plant seeds and when to harvest ideas. Where's the pattern in this current situation? The clues were always there. What you loved as a child is typically your deepest soul level expression. 
Now with new eyes, skills, talents, and resources, you can bring this to life in a whole new way. And it doesn't have to be just one thing because your unique genius is a perfect combination of everything that makes you up, that makes of you. Uh, then it says Cosmic Catalyst. <clears throat> what did I love as a kid and how can I bring more of this energy back into my life? And the Cosmic Checkbox says, set up a play date for yourself, mark it on your calendar and simply create a day of exploring what you loved as a kid. Definitely need to do that. Basically, the cycles within cycles stop now. Ultimately, all you need to do is you take one step after another. The path appears as you just trust your inner heart's guidance. You will not have it all figured out. You just need to trust source. Because every time you, you, you trust your mind over your heart, you literally feed the false matrix, this mind construct, which is not real. And you forsaken God in a way. You know, you, you keep pushing your divine inner feminine, knowing inner guidance way down. Like anyone who's laughing at divine inner feminine wisdom or putting her down, telling her that she's crazy or wrong or doesn't know what she's fucking talking about whilst they're reading from a book or like reciting something that I've learned from some spiritual teacher or in some course. Like this is where the real truth is being revealed and you knew it all along if you would have just listened to your heart. Like this is where karma and dharma fully plays out. All the karmic lessons are being learned from within the oneness. It's already here. So all you need to do is just let the fuck go. Okay? Listen to your heart. Keep surrendering to the heart. <clears throat> Speak your fucking truth even if your voice shakes. Reality is depending on it. As you speak the truth and bring the truth into every now moment and stop lying to yourself and your reality, I mean, it's like self-betrayal. As you stop this, all of the secrets, all that has been hidden in the darkness is being revealed. And you're the cosmic change maker to make this happen. And this is where you remember your true purpose and mission and not the bullshit like you have been, you know, fucked with. So this is where your full true compassion to yourself, forgive yourself, because we've all gotten it wrong. We've all been hijacked sometime, somewhere been misled, however you want to fucking call this, okay? Where you listen to someone else, be of your own inner heart's knowing. This happens so you know, okay, what to do, not to do, what is right, what is wrong in the higher state, true sense of beingness without like fully, with, by fully transcending ultimately all of these polarities, good, bad, God versus evil. Like we need to stop externalizing God and the devil. You need to stop putting them into like there's some man in the sky or some red antichrist running around. It's not real. It's you ultimately externalizing your inner demons, which is fears, doubts, fears, insecurities, which are not real. Every time you tell yourself you're not ready, you're not good enough, you, you don't have enough to give, to share, bring to the table, this is your false self, the mind control program, the algorithms speaking. But whether you believe you can or you can't, you are right. As well as whatever you decide to do or not do is ultimately the right thing. Everything is always realigning itself within the one consciousness. But you need to fully let go of your identity, your attachment to your identity fully transcendent, let it all the way go, merge with everything, shadow and light, God is everything, I know everybody likes to say, God is just good, and the devil is bad, but that's the issue, you need to merge shadow and light, you need to become one with everything, to transcend and alchemize all, and turn all of this pain and suffering into pure gold, this is how I gain all of my gnosis, I'm fully present with my emotions, keep alchemizing them, and I have a white spectrum of energies dark and light and everything in between rainbow colors em emanating from me because i hold literally the core of the core of this cosmic divine blueprint the full 144,000 archetypes of the godhead consciousness streams times three the three the three as the 13 within the one fully returned triple helix dna Merging past, present, and future, all races. 
our bloodlines, our consciousnesses, all of our multidimensional selves, all worlds as one. The totality of the singularity returning real truth reality through us, the one. No one above, no one beneath. All this jealousy and envy, enough. It's distortion of the one consciousness. Just be your real, true, eternal, authentic self. There's only one of you here and the world needs you. Not some copy of someone else. Esuka. Sinashanata. So this is where we fully reclaim our true divine inner feminine wisdom, power, high priestess archetype, all merging as one. It's beyond all of this. It's like all gods, goddesses, archetypes, the Agathans, the ancient ones, the, the our cosmic brothers and sisters, the true guardians, magic grey queens and kings, cosmic dragons, mer people, line people, everything you can think of, every being across the cosmos fully merged as one. This is us bringing fully online, true contact, full contact, fully dissolving the veils. This is already lifted. The last curtain on the truth has already been lifted. This is where all secrets come out one way or another. It's all known under the Godhead. As the, as the God mind, heart comes fully online. Everything comes fully online now. Everything is known one way or another. So again, you either speak the truth or you'll be dragged. Um, again, it's always the right time to do the right thing, to change everything forever. <clears throat> and this is where we come at one with the cosmic mother and you remember this is how you remember you are safe you are protected because you are at one with God's source consciousness with the Holy Spirit fully taking over your vessel your heart fully opening all of these eyes walls and again we've all been in states of closed down hearts but again if we don't keep alchemizing our pain and suffering into ever deeper levels of love compassion wisdom and that's what causes a black heart, closes us all the way down. You can't ascend that way. So bring all remaining resentment, frustration, anger, all of the guilt and shame up. See it from the observer perspective. Feel it to release it and heal it all. And then let it all the way go. All the storylines, all of your attachment to your identity, the storylines, everything fully go. As you fully remember, none of this is real. We have been dreaming this all as one in order to merge all as one. This is where we wake up on a dream field and literally there's just like, this is where ultimately like enlightenment comes through us lighting all the way up and laughing at this because our higher selves does laugh at this because ultimately once we fully wake up from the spells, from the amnesia, from not wanting to know the real truth, from cognitive dissonance, we all of these aspects, from all the illusions of separation, all of this has been but a dream, as if it was never real, and we are fully returned to full, true health, eternal consciousness, beingness, paradise, rebirth through us. It's a state of consciousness. We came here to embody, remember, and then we project it out. Now, I have a whole lot more notes on all of this. Also, read the description of the activation for St. Bridget's Day, where we turn where we walk from darkness into light, shining the light onto the unconscious to make it conscious. This is how we heal all. Um, even like read the description, like it's part of the activation, even if you're not taking part. Okay. And I can't make this available for free. Um, you need to also honor everything I have invested and so to say sacrificed in order to bring this true gnosis and wisdom back into this reality and i share a lot for free and again ultimately it's all in the ethos but if you want some extra support and want to accelerate you and our journey and also support me back that's one way of doing it the details are in the description box i'm also going to include a couple uh, a few um links one is about bridget from ascension glossary which is really like um the goddess of the holy swan, the white queen Bridget, as the May Magdalene, Grail Maiden, Solar Dragon of Air, so of Ireland, uh, is one section of the Cosmic Mother's White Diamond Sun Trinity that unites the triple solar Rishas or Rishis, which is Melda Guinevere Bridget. Uh, and there's a lot more to this. So 
um, maybe connect with this um, page on Ascension Glossary. Again, just take what resonates, leave the rest as with everything and make up your own mind. That's the main thing, okay? Like I go beyond all of this. Like you need to really like take everything less literal and it's all about understanding things, the patterns behind things. It's all about to be understood in archetype symbolism. I see things as abstract, which is giving me the, I feel it all. I play my role really well. This is why, you know, in order to transcend anger, shame, grief, sadness, um, resentment, anger, anything, okay? You need to go all into it. You need to play your role really well, really well, in order to fully transcend it. That's the key. But you understand you're playing a role. You need to hold, hold all states at one. You are playing your role. You're also that other aspect playing your kind of opposition or whatever, whatever you're interacting with, as well as you're the observer, your pure God's consciousness, which has created all of this. Because the only way you can fully reclaim all of your power, gifts, abilities, the true gnosis, power, wisdom, the love that you are, is through full surrender to source and claiming all of your accountability and responsibility for your creation, for consciousness. Because if you want to merge with, with God's source consciousness, it's everything. Again, it's not just the good, it's everything. And this is where we fully dissolve all of this and like projecting all of these unacknowledged shadow aspects onto the wall as God as a man in the sky and outside of us, the same as for the devil, the evil, Satan, Antichrist, whatever you want to call it. These are all just aspects of the one consciousness. You fully alchemize all of this from within the oneness. You have to become one with everything until there's no more separation between you and all of reality. Because you are it, you are everything, the whole cosmos projected out. It's just consciousness. There is no local meta universe. It's always a projection hologram. And it's based on what we believe to be true. Um, a song, G uh, Gender Wilder, or is it Jean? I don't know if that was like autocorrect, I will see. It's from, I think, Willy Wonka. The chocolate factory anyway it's the song pure imagination so come with me on a journey multi-dimensional journey if you like for saint richard's day or again the timeless quantum replay as they all are and i'm also going to include because it came up on my own kind of feed um a live call and activation i did on youtube but you can access also the activation by itself on my SoundCloud, the link is below. It's from the Holy Grail Trinity, Diamond Heart Grid and Diamond Sun Body Activation. So if you're not taking part in this one, take part in the one from last year. Like there's so much about quantum alignment. Again, this is beyond time. This is about us bringing in, fully aligning the frequencies, the, the harmonics of the sound and light fields of creation. Enusukala, enata, and all affects all. Asha. So remember what's really real, the oneness, until all is one, and it's here now. The totality of singularity, the true cosmic mother principle, rebirthing all, resetting all, all is one, the cosmic Christ, the one consciousness. It's all consciousness. Okay, I think that's it. There was also one more fun video, which was about the global citizens take their countries back. It's about the farmers striking in Europe and now also America. It reminds me of something that happened during the whole COVID crisis. I think it was in Canada. Um, you know, about basically the farmers and us, the people, the cosmic citizens, fully reclaiming all of our power. And although there have been a lot of false starts and a lot of kind of what felt like false hope, where you feel like, we are fully taken over all of our power back and rising fully as the cosmic dragons, the true divine guardians of all new free worlds. And then it didn't quite happen. The time is always now to fully align all of this. It's all consciousness, the oneness, fully aligning with its true eternal essence, beingness, our original innocence, our fully ascended self, which is you just fully merging with the cosmic God source consciousness you always wear. It's timeless. It's always here now. So fully merge with that parallel version of self and reality, where as if none of this has ever happened, all has been reconciled, fully merged with, and keep following your own inner guidance, your 
divine feminine on what action to take. Okay, this is not about not doing anything and just imagining and dreaming. That's a lot of it. That's where you access real truth. But then you also take the steps that have been shown to us. And this is really where I feel the heart mind is fully bursting wide open. The supernova of the one heart mind event, fully shifting, changing everything forever, as if overnight, in the blinking of an eye. This is timeless, okay? Because you're merging with your fully eternal, timeless, limitless, fearless. Diamond avatar self, the God self, fully free, boundless, fearless, limitless, okay? So, fully surrender your heart, your mind to your heart, and your heart to source, all of you, okay? Nothing to hold on to but illusions, truly. As you let fully go, fully surrender to flow state, fully let go of all need to control, to fully dissolve all control systems and these architectures, realities, false overlays, fully let go of your false self, identity, who you think you are, to be really shown by God what is real true. Our true cosmic history records, memories fully returning, our real true reality, our new Eden, new heaven upon your earth, here now, remembered, fully ignited through your heart, bursting fully wide open. Esa, kushuna, kena sikeda, kure, teyuna, ena, ukure, yana kana 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 shuna. Okay, it's done. Notice, it's a happening. Just let go. Just be and follow your heart. It will lead you all the way home. Because the mistakes on the way were all part of the divine plan. As soon as you can see through the eyes of God, with it. Esu, Shunai, Kikadata. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, the details are below. Thank you for any like, share, subscribe, comment um any and all donations signing up to the call uh and again keep you know this is happening ultimately within the one consciousness the quantum space and this activation is already fully online so to say and keeps unfolding but it's beyond time and space one call one activation the same as the last one is still fully unfolding okay okay I see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love, so many blessings. Bye, bye, bye.